Hi, we're Laura and Craig from Cruise Lifestyle. We spent seven nights on board Azamara Pursuit and thought it would be useful to share this cruise ship tour to help you get excited for your cruise. This R-Class cruise ship holds 702 passengers and 408 crew. So if you want a small ship cruise with good service, you can't go far wrong. This ship was built in 2000, making it one of the oldest cruise ships we've ever sailed on. But after having a £50 million refit in 2018, when she was bought by Azamara Cruises, we think she looks very good. Let's start on deck four. This is the lowest deck and where you'll find passenger cabins, the medical centre and the guest relations desk. Here you can get help with things like your onboard account, transfer arrangements and any issues you might experience during your cruise. We never saw a queue here, which was a good sign. In this area, you'll find the concierge desk available to all guests for individual guidance about the cruise and to help make reservations. There's also ATMs here where you can withdraw foreign currency during your cruise. One thing that did impress us that's worth mentioning is the access to defibrillators. We spotted at least two on board and it's good to know that passenger safety has been really thought about. The grand staircase is impressive and links deck four and deck five very elegantly. So let's move up to deck five, one of the main decks for dining and entertainment on Azamara Pursuit. At the top of the grand staircase is the Mosaic Cafe, a complimentary coffee shop offering tea, coffee, hot chocolate and a selection of pastries, savoury snacks, cookies, donuts and muffins. This is a popular spot in the morning for takeaway drinks, but we never had a problem in the afternoons finding a place to sit and enjoy a drink. There is a small menu offering boozy coffee here. These are included in the ultimate drinks package or available to pay for individually. The shops on Azamara Pursuit offer passengers the opportunity to browse a selection of jewellery, clothes and accessories. Pop-up sales are also available on certain days. Keep an eye on the daily programme to see when these are. Past the Mosaic Cafe, you'll find the Discoveries Restaurant. This is the main dining room on Azamara Pursuit. We found it really handy to take a look at the menu displayed outside before dinner each day to help us decide if we wanted to eat there. Here are some examples of the different menus for the Discoveries Restaurant during our cruise. As you can see, the menu has different themes each night and an always available section that you can order from. It's also worth knowing that there is a white night menu available if you don't want the barbecue on the pool deck. Discoveries does have a kids menu so just ask the waiting staff. Discoveries has a small bar area where you can enjoy a drink before dinner or wait for friends. During our cruise we never had to wait for a table and were seated as soon as we arrived at the front desk. The dining room has windows on three sides and a variety of different table configurations so you can dine as a couple or as a larger group. Before our cruise, we specified we wanted a table for two and this was never an issue. If you've cruised with princess or celebrity cruises before, it's fair to say that the main dining room was on par with these cruise lines. What we did like was the variety of themes and the inclusion of local cuisine night. This is part of Azamara's Destination Immersion Programme to bring the food and culture of the places you visit on board the ship. Here are some of the dishes we enjoyed in the Discoveries restaurant. Staying on deck five, forward of the Mosaic Cafe is The Den. This bar and lounge is a quiet spot during the day with live music during the evenings. It always seems to be busy in the evenings on our cruise, with entertainment given nightly by the entertainment team. In The Den are bookcases filled with travel books to help inspire your next adventure, with the shore excursion and cruise again desks conveniently located to help you book your next adventure. Running along the port side of the den is the photo shop and we enjoyed admiring the photos from the different destinations that Azamara Pursuit had visited. Here you can also take a look at photos from the onboard photographers and surprisingly they still print them out so you can browse them before buying. Moving through the den you'll arrive at the Cabaret Lounge. This is the closest venue to a theatre on board this cruise ship, which is also used as one of the main muster stations and the meeting place for shore excursions. Why not get a drink from the bar and enjoy the shows from the entertainment team and local guest performers? Table service is also available, but it's worth getting a seat and a drink before the performance starts to get a good view of the stage and not spoil the view for others. We would highly recommend going to watch the showcase performance on the first evening in the Cabaret Lounge, so you can get an idea of all the entertainment on board the ship. Partway through the cruise, we went to an as amazing celebrations performance in the Cabaret Lounge and it was called Journey Through Croatia that showcased the culture and history of the country. It was interesting and slightly bizarre in places. It began with traditional dancing and ended with a guy and a giant hula hoop. This performance definitely depends on your itinerary and in some cases, passengers can even go to the performance venue on land to enjoy the local culture. It's worth noting that you can reserve a seat at one of these performances on the Azamara website before your cruise, but to be honest, they weren't checking reservations on the door, so if you don't pre-book, don't worry, just arrive in plenty of time. 
Unexpectedly, due to bad weather, this was also where part of Azamara's White Night was held after rain meant the deck party had to be moved indoors at short notice. It was still a fun atmosphere and everyone was up dancing and enjoying the music. Deck 5 is also the promenade deck and you can access the outside space from a door located between the den and the cabaret lounge. It's not a full wraparound promenade, but it's a nice place for views of the sea and the ports. There are some lounges here too, if you prefer a quiet space in the shade to relax and enjoy the sea breeze. Decks 6, 7 and 8 are all passenger decks and where the majority of cabins can be found, but it's worth mentioning that Azamara Pursuit has a self-service laundrette available for guests to use. This facility is complimentary and washing tablets are available in a small bin. You just have to search for them. We're interested to know, do you do laundry on a cruise? Tell us in the comments. Let's move up to deck 9 and this is where you'll find the pool area, two further included dining options and the spa, where will begin. The Sanctum is the spa on Azamara Pursuit and features a salon, treatment rooms and a fitness centre. The changing room area offers all passengers access to the complimentary steam room and fog showers, so don't feel like this area is out of bounds. There's plenty of lockers and towels and some toiletries available too. From the changing room, sweet guests can access the Sanctum Terrace, a small outside area at the very front of Deck 9 with the Thalassotherapy pool and loungers. We don't think the weather on Embarkation Day really did it justice, to be honest. You can pay $99 for a day pass if you aren't staying in a suite, but we were more than happy with the pool deck, so let's go there next. The pool area has a small pool with two hot tubs. We can't say we really saw many people using the pool as it was quite early in the season. What was good was that there was ample space on our cruise if you wanted to sit around the pool. The lounges in the sun were always the most popular though. One of the huge pluses of cruising with Azamara is the comfortable padded sun lounges. Now that sounds a little bit strange, but they were honestly the comfiest we've ever had on a cruise ship. At night, the pool deck looked very pretty and the bar stays open so that you can enjoy this space as you sail away from port or enjoy a warm evening outside. On one side of the pool area is some seating and what we call egg chairs that swivel. We did try them out and were surprised that this area was always empty. On the opposite side of the pool bar is a small smoking area. Towards the aft of the pool area is the patio. This is an outdoor grill that serves burgers, nachos, hot dogs and sandwiches for lunch and dinner. This is the only dining venue available in the afternoon on Azamara Pursuit. There's usually a local special at lunch and then a different special such as surf and turf or mixed grill in the evening. Keep your eye out on the different specials in the daily programme. We ate here for lunch when we got back from an excursion one day and it was perfect for an included option if you wanted something tasty for lunch. Everything is cooked to order so do bear in mind it's not mega fast, especially during lunch times when it's busiest. Something we both really enjoyed was Swirl and Top next to the patio, which was a frozen yogurt station. You can just walk up and choose from two flavours that rotate each day and finish it off with some toppings. We really liked this complimentary feature and we didn't use it just the once. The patio area is where the food and barbecues are set up for the white night and despite the party being moved inside on our cruise, we still went to the patio for the luxury buffet laid on. Given the small space, we were surprised how well it was managed. Beyond the patio is the Windows Cafe, which is a light and airy buffet restaurant. The buffet is open breakfast, lunch and dinner with a different theme every evening. The quality of the buffet at dinner is very good and this meant that we actually chose it over the dining room on several occasions. It does close at around 8.30, so do give yourself plenty of time to grab something before it closes. At the very aft of Deck 9 is the Sunset Deck, so if you enjoy dining al fresco, you can take your meal from the patio or windows cafe to eat in this area with a wonderful sea view. 
We did go out in this area one evening during a sail away and had a great view as we left the port of Shibinek, Croatia. Are you cruising on Azamara Pursuit soon? We'd love to hear what you're most looking forward to in the comments. Deck 10 is where you'll find a number of nice venues. Deck 10 forward is where you'll find our favourite entertainment venue and we did find ourselves ending most nights here in the living room. There's plenty of cosy seating and little secluded spots we can sit back with a drink and watch the world go by. The bar is open throughout the afternoons and evening with daily quiz is taking place here from 4 p.m. There's a good sized dance floor and we really enjoyed the atmosphere in this venue. You can choose to sit at the bar or find a comfy chair with table service. A thoughtful touch is the small snack station next to the bar. This is replenished throughout the day from early lunch right through to the late night hours. So if you're feeling a little peckish, you can help yourself to hot and cold small bites and desserts. The stage and the dance floor is the main focal point of the living room. But if you venture around to the back of the stage, you'll find some sought after seating and chaise lounges to kick back, relax and enjoy the beautiful forward facing views. You also have some handy little tables in between these chaise lounges to pop your drinks on. What a wonderful place to escape and relax. In the evenings in the living room, the house band called Back on Tracks performed a range of different genres and each member of the group was extremely talented. We happily sat and watched while sipping a cocktail before and after dinner. On white night, the party continues in the living room until late with tunes from the live band and DJ to get you on the dance floor. Deck 10 is a tale of two halves. So if you're looking for a quieter venue to enjoy, we'd recommend heading towards the aft where you'll find the drawing room and the two specialty restaurants, Aquilina and Prime C. The drawing room is a hidden gem and we didn't discover it until the third day of our cruise, but we love how peaceful this space is. It feels like it's just been plucked straight out of a stately home. The drawing room overlooks the pool deck and is the perfect place to go if you want to read a book, do puzzles or simply enjoy the quiet. We enjoyed searching through the books that were available to borrow here during your cruise. Just bear this in mind when you're packing so that you don't necessarily need to pack a book as there's plenty here for you to choose from. The standout feature of the drawing room is its beautifully hand-painted ceiling. As the room is a C-shape, you don't spot it when you first walk in, but we were blown away when we looked up. The detail is incredible and you could spend a few moments just taking it all in. On one side of the room is a selection of crosswords and Sudoku, and this is also where you'll find the Azamara Pursuit Scavenger Hunt Challenge. This is a good excuse to explore the ship as you try to match the photos with different parts of the cruise ship. Next to the drawing room is where the two specialty dining restaurants are located on board Azamara Pursuit. Aquilina is the Mediterranean specialty dining restaurant and Prime C is the onboard steakhouse. Our new friends, Simon and Paul, who we met on board, enjoyed meals in both restaurants and kindly shared what they enjoyed so you can get an idea of the types of dishes available in these restaurants. Prime C is definitely the place to go for your choice of steak cooked to perfection with a huge array of sides and seafood dishes. You certainly need to arrive hungry to a meal at Prime C to enjoy each course, not forgetting dessert. We want to give a special thank you to Simon and Paul for sharing their specialty dining experiences on Azamara Pursuit. The final deck we want to show you is deck 11 and this is the place to go for scenic sailing and secluded sunbathing spots. You can access this outside space by climbing the staircase on deck 10 by the walking track and although it's open deck it's relatively well sheltered especially at the very front where there are sun lounges. There's outdoor seating and some funky egg chairs to hang out in overlooking the pool area. The most forward section of deck 11 is where we went for our scenic sail into Kotoa and by heading towards the pool on this deck you can also enjoy some open views without the glass obstructions. Now that you've seen the public areas on this cruise ship tour of Azamara Pursuit, why not watch our tour of a club veranda stateroom next?